Hi everyone, welcome to my little corner where there is no wrong way to play with paper. Welcome to Scraps to Embellishments. It is a lot of fun where we take our scraps and we make pretty things to use on our scrapbook pages or journals or cards or whatever you like to make. There's no wrong way to do it. Um, a lot of my scrappy friends are doing it with me and do a video when they have the time it fits or the theme fits. So every week it might be different content creators, but there's one playlist so you don't have to try to figure out who did it. You can click that link in the description of this video. It shows all the different content creators that are playing along with me using their scraps and creating beautiful things. I hope you are enjoying that and you will check that out. Maybe my way doesn't inspire you today, but somebody else's will. So lots and lots of fun. Um, we are every week we do an embellishment swap on Ginger's Corner Facebook group. Now, if you're interested in that, I would love for you to come join us. And even if you don't want to create and swap with us, come and join us. It's a beautiful community. I am very honored and proud of our little corner. And um, I'm just, they're wonderful folks. And I promise you'll be inspired. So make sure you answer those questions. Um, if you do want to swap, we have swaps in Australia and New Zealand. We have swaps in Europe and Canada and of course the United States. And you don't have to pay international postage. You will be able to swap in your neck of the woods. So I have amazing captains that help me do that. So you don't have to worry about that. Now the main swap we do international but that's for another video <laughs> let's just get into it this week's theme is star wars anything to do with star wars and or space oh this was a hard one for me hard one um so i had to really think outside the box and i had a friend loan me her cricket joy and i've been playing with it so i made a title with all my scraps, you guys, this is what I used to do this. And where I couldn't cut out a word, I did some stars. Like I just went to town, but the stars I didn't cut out with the Cricut Joy. I used my punches, you guys. I pulled out my star punches. I have this one I got on Amazon, I believe. Maybe even this one on Amazon. Um, any of the punches that I've purchased on Amazon are in that link in the description. I always share that. Um, but if you can't find it, that's okay. Give me a holler or just look up Star Punch on your own. You can do that too. I also have this little tiny one that um, my friend Karen gifted me oh, a couple years back. Love this. Love this because you best believe to know me is to know I will sit here because you can use these like enamel dots. Okay. Stuff is not cheap, y'all. And I will sit here. And I can use little stars on my crafts, my pages, my journals, like enamel dots. Look at that. Yeah, I will totally sit here and then I'll have a little baggie or a container of tiny little stars. I'm probably not going to use any today, but I will be doing this. And then all these will go in the trash. Once I've done every single little star I can, I will. I also do hearts this way. I have a heart one as well. Those are also in my Amazon link. Um, it is an affiliate link. I'm not going to lie, but you can look it up. I'm, I'm not here selling nothing. I'm really not. I feel like I say that a lot. So I want to make that clear. If you don't, that's okay. If you do, it does help pay for the postage for blessing boxes. We're still friends either way. Whatever's easiest and best for you. That's what I want you to do. So let's put one together because that's what I like to do. I have inked these um, black stars. I inked in gray. Yellow I did in my archival black. Let's see. This is hickory smoke, not gray technically. And then I'm just going to make two little clusters on each side of my title. And I'm going to be done. And I've used lots of scraps, used my punch, used my tools, used what I had. That's what this one today is about for me. Um, it's really easy for me to get away from that because some of my tools are changing. Some of the ways I do things are changing. And um, it, it's easy to just pull out something new all the time. Well, I ain't rich and I ain't going to get rich anytime soon. I have to be careful that I have because this one's black on yellow. I did whatever scraps I could fit in there. So let me find an A that will match. Here we go. And um, so I, I love using what I have and I'm starting to not totally go into a no spin mode. I need to use up things. My room is getting full. If you guys know me, if you are scrappy friends with me or you watch me at any length time, when my space gets full, Mm -hmm. Nope, it's time to perch, time to use, or it's time to stop buying. 
And I think I'm in all three of those modes. I need to use, I need to purge, and I need to stop buying, which is okay. That's all right. We all have different times. Now, I don't want to get glue on my desk. So let me get a little piece. I need a new piece. My other, um, oh, I always just take a scrap or an eight by 10 piece of paper and to not get my desk all yucky, but it got so bad, I just needed to get a new one. So let's see here, I'm gonna go like so, okay? And then I just, just gonna make a little cluster. And all clustering is, is layers, that's it. No rhyme or reason, there's no right or wrong, it just is. So all these ones made out of my scraps with my punches, I'm just gonna glue a little here and a little there and I kind of, like that, like that. Okay, so there's that side. Then I need to do the same thing. Now this A here, you guys, I should show you. I know I have another one here. Don't be afraid to punch. Look at that. See, that one did not, whoops, where's it at? Where's it at? Oh, it didn't quite have enough room. That's okay. I'll just hide that behind something. Like I'll just put it wherever, okay? So I am gonna put that one there. We'll put a yellow one. Now, you'll see that A is not quite what it should be, right? Thinking this should go like so, like that. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take a star and I'm gonna cover it up. Totally will never know. Or I could make this one a cluster going that way and then they could put it on there that would work too wouldn't it hmm mm -hmm. okay well first things first i need to glue this on to the r so we'll just keep on marinating on that for a hot second whoops well helps <laughs> if you put the glue part where it belongs <sighs> redo redo so my camera decided it wasn't going to record. We have to get back on there. Okay. So then I'm going to go like that. So I'll put a little glue here. Put it down. And I think I am going to connect that just because. And maybe I'll add another little star to round it off. Everyone is going to be a little bit different because I made them out of scraps. Right? And so... They're going to look a little different. Got to cover up boo-boos. There's not a mistake. There's just more room to embellish it. There we go. I like that. It's okay. A couple different ones there. So see how this one just kind of worked out good. This one I need to cover a little boo-boo. All okay. All okay. And that's all I'm going to do. I'll do a bunch of different ones. I'll put close-ups of these two at the end. But I'll just keep on because I make several because that's what I do. <laughs> You guys, make sure you're checking out everyone else. Thanks for hanging out with me. Grab your punches, grab those scraps, and create. That's really, really a lot of fun, and it's a lot of practice for clusters. I have lots of people message me about making clusters. It's a great way to practice. Maybe make a title and make a title cluster. Use those scraps. Use things that you have. All right, I will talk to you later. Be blessed. Bye. Bye.